The central island of most roundabouts has a truck apron to allow easy movement of tractor-trailer trucks and buses. The truck apron is a paved area, usually separated by a mountable curve from the circulatory roadway. It gives trucks and other large vehicles extra room to navigate while still controlling passenger car speeds. This roundabout in Bend, Oregon is used by many tractor-trailer trucks and school buses. The truck apron is nearly flush with the roadway, allowing trailer tires to roll over it. Roundabouts are typically large enough for emergency vehicles to travel fully within the circulatory roadway, as shown here in Encinitas, California. The rear tires of large emergency vehicles, such as fire trucks, can roll over the truck apron if needed. While the curvature of roundabouts increases travel time to navigate the intersection, emergency vehicles often experience similar delays at other types of intersections, because queues there are often much shorter. This residential roundabout in Wisconsin is navigated by a fire truck, which does not need to use the truck apron. Truck aprons can be designed with smooth curves, as shown in this Nebraska example. This allows the rear tires of the truck to comfortably mount the truck apron without risking rollover. School buses rarely need to use the truck apron. This Wisconsin roundabout is large enough to accommodate school buses wholly within the circulatory roadway. Trucks can be permitted to use multiple lanes in multi-lane roundabouts depending on the area and level of truck activity. In Wisconsin, where this roundabout is located, state law prohibits vehicles from passing tractor trailers in a roundabout, but other states have used designs that allow cars to pass trucks. Suburban and rural roundabouts are used by a wide range of vehicles. The truck apron of this roundabout in Wisconsin gets frequent use from tractor trailers and farm equipment. At this urban roundabout in Greenwich, New York, a truck carrying a mobile home is able to make a left turn without impacting any curbs or signs. Note that escort vehicles enter the roundabout first and block some approaches to allow the truck to safely complete the left turn, but vehicles are still allowed to enter and exit on the approaches that do not conflict with the truck's movement. As the truck begins to exit the roundabout, each approach is reopened to traffic. This roundabout also has a large truck apron to accommodate the front cab of oversized load trucks. Observe how this truck carries a super load through a rural roundabout in Florence, Kansas at the intersection of two major highways. The truck uses a mountable truck apron and splitter islands to navigate. Signs and utilities can be located in normal positions and are not affected by the oversized load. Now compare trucks at roundabouts to trucks at signalized intersections. Observe how this truck carrying an oversized load makes a left turn at a signalized intersection in Ferndale, Michigan. The entire intersection must be closed while the truck completes the turning movement. The advantage of a roundabout is that non-conflicting vehicles can still sometimes enter and exit the roundabout while the truck completes its movement. With proper design and use of the truck apron, Roundabouts can accommodate even the largest trucks, buses, and emergency vehicles. Generally, truck drivers and emergency service providers have supported the construction of roundabouts for their superior efficiency and safety over other intersection forms.